some coons, buddy. All right, let's get this redneck chin dig rocking and a rolling. Well, sorry it's took me so long to get a video back out to y'all. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this one makes it. Hopefully, I got enough time to edit. I got a bunch in the file, but there's none of them I can really put together good. But hopefully, I can, I can get some together tonight, and we'll get RJ treated up a little bit here pretty shortly. Just dropped, made first drop of RJ. He's probably been gone about a minute. I'm gonna sit here and I got my 1022 put together, load my cliff up, getting ready. Surprised he ain't even started barking yet. It's done dropped off cold, wind done picked up a little bit, which is fine. I'd rather have a little wind. That way he can he can go into it and I'm on the upwind side so he can he can go into it on this drop right here. So if there's anything moving around or even one laid up, he ought to be able to get us one up. Oh RJ's ain't like my other dog, Shadow. It Shadow's his mama. But Lord, it, he's been gone a, maybe two minutes now at the most. He's already four hundred. 400 yards. Normally, last time I came, I should have videoed. I, I traded two coons pretty quick off the bat and went home by midnight. Good boy, get on the seat. Good boy. I'm running late tonight. He's uh, he's starting to make some circles now, so I might just have to go around to him. He went 400 down a little little ridge there, and then he dropped off in the holler, which is what I wanted him to do in the first place. And he went another quarter of a mile hunting, and the that holler goes a long ways and it's all cut over up top and nothing that bottom nothing but hardwoods right there he ran up one side and now he's coming down back down the other and he ain't made so much as a peep and i would have lost money tonight or on this spot i thought we would have treated a coon by now or at least i heard something made me nervous a little bit because stuff ain't moving like that he might he's a cur dog he might slam on my possum or there's a bunch of hogs here. I was afraid he might get on a hot hog or a deer or something like that. But I think I got him deer broke. But I don't know about the hogs. And every once in a while, if it, that possum's just smelling good to him, he, he might he might get zapped on one. But he'll do it. He says he's coming back though, so he's still point fourteen miles away. Still ain't heard him. Pretty cold out here. Temperatures dropping. I made it. I went to thank goodness I brought my waders in. RJ's hunting. He's about 400 yards. Last time I checked when I started this video. So hopefully he'll. I ain't had no luck, no barks yet, but hopefully he'll he'll get something soon. Uh oh. He's talking to one now. We finally, finally got something. He ain't that far. Uh-oh, he's hot on one now. I don't know if y'all can hear him. Tree RJ. I might can see that. I might can see across that bank. We'll see. We'll see if I can see across it and see what trees on. Sorry, I'm blind, y'all. I mean, there's my boat. 
I'm sitting on top of the hill. Ooh, I see him. Sorry for the shaky video, but he's right there in that. He's right there. See if I can get my red on him. Oh, see his eyes? Oh, yeah. Gotta love that sunspot light. All right, well, let's go shoot us one and go to the house. All right. I'm headed to our day. He is back that way, but I gotta go all the way up get around this point of this slough go over here and back down a hill just to get to them so I'll see y'all at the tree shortly good boy RJ good boy RJ it took us a little work to get one good boy Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see if I can see him. We'll get up a hill a little bit. Now, most time, what I should really do is tie them off. Be consistent. Let's see. Good boy. That's the only thing. He's just like his daddy. He likes to be off the tree a little bit. His mama likes to get toenails. But he'll sit off the tree a little bit. Oh. oh boy. I petted him up a little bit. And he, as soon as I told him to get up there, he got up there and started hammering down. So I made sure he knew he, had to, he did a good job. What in the world? Where are you bleeding from, man? Is that you? Are your paws bleeding? I don't see no... Where are you bleeding from? I can't tell. I think it's done... I think it's his paw. Get up there and talk to him. Get up there. Come on. Get up there and talk to him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's what you need to look like right there. Good boy. Alright, I found the coon. Good boy. Let's see that. Shotgun shell. I shot that. I think I shot a I know that's my shell. It's either from last year, maybe early November. But that coon was just hiding right in front of me and didn't see him. Barely see the top of his back right there. Good boy. Good boy, RJ. That's a boy. He's a coon dog. All right, good job, man. I'll shoot him out for you. Ended him. Good job, RJ. I think he's in him. I don't know how I'm going to get to him. That's all nothing but trash and just. How about y'all throw your stuff where it goes instead of in the dang river? Throw something out the window, it ends up here in the river. 
Oh, yeah. Good boy. Oh, there's got to be a better way to get to him. I'll be... I'm about to sink up to my neck. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I mean, this ain't nothing but whiskey bottles and oil bottles and styrofoam and everything else. Ooh. Ooh, I'm about to sink down. Man, it stinks. Good boy, RJ. Ooh, I'm about to sink down. I hope that joker don't come back alive. All right, well, there's RJ and his prize for the night. He got him old boar coon. I know it was laid up. He just went straight to the tree and didn't even track a whole lot. He was at the base of the tree when he was struck a few times. So we finally got one. I can see some blood on the boat. I think it's just one of his paws. He was bleeding at the tree. That stuff in that one that coon hit that water on the edge that made me pretty nervous because as you can kind of tell there's bottles and plastic jugs and probably ain't no telling how many dang needles and drug needles and all that stuff are in here so hopefully we're all right we ain't got the hepatitis or nothing like that or the crabs i don't know whichever one hopefully it's too cold for them but we gonna call it a night RJ did a good job. He 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 hunted, stayed busy all night, and finally got one. I gotta push myself up out of this stuff. Thank goodness I brought my waders. I got some squirrel hunts coming up in uh, Alabama. A uh, few weeks. We're gonna try to make some videos out of that. It's gonna be a full day of hunting, so we ought to have enough to put together. Just if I can get the time to edit and everything else, we'll. Uh, We'll have a good time doing that. If y'all around here, y'all got some kids that want to go, just let me know.